Hello, 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 my beautiful soul family, and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, I am certified life coach Talia Sage, and this is a channel where I combine my natural gifts of intuition and reading the cards with the science of life coaching to bring you guidance and tools that you can use to create your best life. Today's video message is going to be all about how to bring your manifestation into you. We're going to First off, because I'm nosy, I'm going to have some cards here that will let me know what your manifestation may be. And you can also use those just as clarification to make sure that you chose the right pile. Then we'll get some guidance into where you could have some blockages that are blocking your manifestations from coming in. Then we'll find out advice from your spiritual team on what you can do to unlock those blockages and bring those manifestations into you sooner and then finish off with some motivation, uh, just some information to let you know what you can expect if you choose to take this advice. I've already pulled all of the cards and as you can see, we have three groups in front of us, group one, two, and three. As usual, use your intuition, your discernment, to decide which group or multiple groups are calling out to you. If you're drawn to more than one group, that's okay. It just means that you have multiple messages sprinkled throughout multiple different groups. And you could even choose a different group for different manifestations that you're trying to bring into your life. This is a general reading, so take what resonates with you and leave the rest for someone else. Not every example situation that I come up with may resonate with your life, However, the energy will still be the same. So take that energy and mold it, shape it to fit your life for a more personalized message. If you would like a personal reading or to schedule some private coaching sessions to help you create this manifestation for yourself, feel free to reach out to me at my website. You can find that info down in the description box below. If you need more time to decide, pause the video here. Otherwise, when you're ready, you can find your timestamps listed down in the description box. I'll see you there. Hello, group one. This will be your, a message all about your manifestation. What may be blocking you from that manifestation? What you can do in order to clear up those blockages and bring that manifestation into you quicker? And also just give you a little motivation, give you a peek into your future of what you can expect if you take this advice. We're just gonna get right into your cards. Um, I've pulled the majority of the cards. We, we might finish off with a little bit, um, with one final card, just uh, some additional motivation for you, but we'll see. All right, so these first three cards that you have, they're going to give me some insight into what your manifestation may be. Once again, the Examples or scenarios that I come up with may not resonate with your life, but try to take that energy and apply it to your life as it fits. So first, your tarot card. You have the Nine of Wands. Your Tea Leaf Fortune cards. You have Rabbit, Too Much Concern with Sexual Matters. You have Rose, Romance is in the air. And you have Egg, Success Assured with Good Plans and Hard Work. So right off the bat, for you, Group 1, many of you are trying to manifest the release of some sort of burden. Um, you're trying to manifest a completion, I feel like, the end of a cycle. This cycle could have to do with romance. It could have to do with maybe finding a sexual partner. It could have to do with um, creating a better sexual relationship that you may already have with someone. Ultimately, it comes down to success. You want success in some area and you may be feeling as though it's been a long road, like, you've been beaten down 99 times and you have to get up that hundredth time. Like you're just seem, feeling very downtrodden. Um, 
maybe even losing a little bit of hope, losing a little bit of steam, feeling like maybe you're looking for the wrong things or maybe what you're looking for is not meant for you after all. Take this energy and apply it to your life as it fits. But that is the insight that I'm getting into what you may be manifesting. Ooh, I just received this message with the rabbit. Some of you may be trying to manifest a partner to have children with. Um, just that romance, that passion. You could be trying to manifest some sort of passion within your life. This could be with a relationship, romantic or friendship, or even with your career. All right, let's see what your chakra cards have to say about where you may be experiencing this blockage. Where is this blockage? Your first chakra card is death, the death card with the root chakra. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. Hmm. And facade with the solar plexus chakra. Okay, what is blocking your manifestation, group one? What's blocking your manifestation is that you are not allowing some sort of ending to happen. You may keep trying to hold on to something. This could be holding on to a relationship. This could be holding on to uh, a belief, habits even. And refusing to see Hmm. Refusing to see how this is preventing you from getting exactly what you want. I, I'm feeling like this is more of an emotional burden, a, a spiritual burden perhaps. Some sort of belief, habit that has been holding you back from really having that life that you want. I feel like stability is trying to come into your life in some way, in some area, you are not yet stable. This could be stable within your finances if you're trying to or wanting to build a home, build a life and start a family, you know, something like that. This could be not having clear plans of how what you're going to do in order to get to where you want to go. This good plans and hard work. Um, it could be lacking that discipline that is required to get you to this next level, to get you to this level up that you're looking for. You could be telling yourself stories of like, I can't do this, or there's no way I could do that, or I'm not pretty enough, I'm not smart enough, I'm not capable enough in some way. There is some sort of, there could be a lack of self-confidence, a lack of motivation even, a lack of feeling worthy almost. There's some sort of, what is this? I want to pull a card to see what this may be for you. There's something about yourself. Once again, some sort of belief, habit, thought pattern that you are being called to release in order to create the end of your current situation and bringing in that new beginning. You have... The Four of Wands, that stability that I was talking about, and the Mother of Pentacles. I keep getting this energy of you're not feeling safe in some way. Maybe this is safe to be your authentic self, to let people see you who, for who you really are. Maybe this could be inner child things going on, maybe some childhood traumas that are still lingering. 
still holding you back, holding you down in some way. This could have to do with a mother, a female figure in your life, someone. Hmm. At some point, I'm feeling like there is some nurturing that you needed, that you did not receive. And this nurturing, this care, put you into an energy of just not feeling stable and solid within your own energy. You could be someone who always looks for validation outside of yourself. You could have found yourself in past relationships where it was like you just gave way too much of yourself, hoping that you giving and overachieving would bring in that validation that you were looking for, would bring in that sense of security and peace and belonging that you were looking for, only to find that it never worked. You could be someone who has perfectionistic, perfectionistic tendencies or could be someone who does people please, who's just always giving of themselves or changing, them, changing themselves in different situations in order to fit what you believe others want of you. Whatever is going on here, there's some blockage within your authenticity. Like you're not fully allowing yourself to be you, to be seen. And until you really allow yourself to be seen, you're not going to find the relationships, whether romantic or friendship or even soul tribe. You're not going to find the opportunities that you need in order to lead you to this manifestation that you're looking for. So you're being called to really explore how you change yourself to fit in how you maybe dim your own light in order to fit in to not be seen we have like this bursting energy here we have this yellow and this bursting energy here i feel like you are meant to be seen in some way but somehow you have been holding yourself back and this is due to limitations this is due to a lack of nurturing this is due to instability that you maybe grew up with, that you have yet to make amends with, to make peace with. Let's get some advice into what you can do. Yeah, what you can do, let's take these three cards. What you can do to remove these blockages, to heal these blockages. Your ancestral advice is guardian angel. You are not alone. Your angel advice is outdoors. Archangel Joel Fuel. Go outside, get some fresh air, and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. So right away, your ancestors and your angels are wanting to tell you that you need to ground yourself. You could be someone who is up in their head a lot, very anxious. You may have a lot of fears. You may have some social phobias. You, It might be hard for you to be out around people because you're always concerned with what people are thinking of you, how people are perceiving you. You're being called to take some time to yourself. Go outdoors, get some exercise. You exercising may help you to feel better about yourself. Feel more confident within yourself. The stronger your body feels, the stronger this solar plexus chakra and this root chakra will become. Um, and just spend some time in your own energy is really what it comes down to, to connect with your guardian angels. There's insight that they want to bring into your life, but you haven't been able to fully tap into it because your mind is so active, because there's so many thoughts going on. I feel like those racing thoughts, the overthinking, the worrying, that's creating this energy of instability within your life. And that could be because in the past, you had to always be thinking. You always had to be on your toes, so to speak, for fear that like there was gonna be a new change that was going to rock your world. Um, you know, some of you could have dealt with food insecurity. You could have dealt with homelessness. You could have dealt with abuse. You could have dealt with just 
what is this um emotionally <laughs> i'm asking you what it is i was talking to spirit emotionally unavailable parental figures people who just weren't there to build you up the way that you needed to be built up but you're being called to take some time to yourself and to begin to build yourself up to allow your ancestors to build you up maybe even reach out to a mentor a teacher a life coach like myself who can help you to see all those wonderful qualities about yourself and to begin to give zero fucks about what anyone else thinks honestly other people's opinions of you are none of your business all that matters is what you think and feel about yourself and you can train yourself to think more positive positively about yourself you can come up with action plans and put in the hard work that is required perhaps for you to begin to feel better within yourself. I would love to help you with that. Feel free to reach out to me at my website. And I just realized we have yellow here, more solar plexus chakra energy. This is all about you becoming more confident within yourself, seeing your beauty, Your affirmation card, you have warmth. I focus on warmth and let it guide all my interactions. No matter how others behave, I choose to respond warmly. This warmth, with warmth, I can melt any icy exterior. I can soften any hard feelings. I can microwave any pizza. Today, I adopt the saying, kill him with kindness and turn myself into a warm and loving serial killer. <laughs> your advice. Keep focusing on that on the positive side. If you need help finding that positive side, reach out to me at my website. Know that the advice is to understand and accept that you will not be for everyone. Not everyone is going to like you and you're not going to like everyone. Still be kind no matter what. I mean, because that only creates more positive karma for yourself. If you run into people who don't like you, you don't need to change who you are to get them to like you, to manipulate that situation. It's okay that they don't like you. You can still kill them with kindness. You can still be your natural, glowing, vibrant self without having to please them, without having to go above and beyond, exerting too much of your energy, taking on burdens that are not your burdens. If someone doesn't like you, that says more about them than it does about you. So don't take that on to yourself. And then your final card, what you can expect if you follow this advice. <laughs> you have the higher fund. This is wisdom. This is growth. This is This card also speaks of tradition. So some of you are looking for that traditional type of relationship where you meet that partner, settle down, have a family, where you maybe find some success in being some sort of leader. This is <laughs> other people coming to you for advice in the future because they see just how confident you are, how wise beyond your years you are. What else can you expect? Really, the confidence is really what's coming in for me, just knowing who you are and not allowing anyone to sway you in any which way. Like, this is someone who knows exactly who they are and no one else can come around and try to tell them who they are. Like, if someone doesn't like you and they say something like, you're too intimidating. This is someone who's not going to take on that burden themselves and be like, oh my gosh, I'm too intimidating. I need to change what I do. This is someone who realizes I'm not intimidating. You're just intimidated. 
and knowing that they don't have to change anything about themselves, that that person's opinion says more about them than it does about you. I hope this makes sense for you. This is just someone who's just so in their power. They know who they are and they're not going to deviate from it. They are completely authentic to themselves. And I love this dress here. Her dress is all like ripped and tattered. And that's because she's been through some things. She's had to walk through the mud. She's experienced all these burdens and they have made her stronger and built her into this leader, built her into this powerhouse. We're going to finish off with the final affirmation just to help you get through this time. And it says, today I have faith. Today I have faith and truly believe that anything is possible. Keep having faith in your dreams. Continue to believe that anything is possible. Success assured with good plans and hard work. Whatever you're trying to manifest, it is possible as long as you make the proper plans and put in the hard work. Group one, this has been what you need to know about your manifestation. If it resonated with you, if it brought you some hope, if it enlightened you in any way, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment down below. If you would like to schedule a per private reading or personal coaching session, feel free to reach out to me at my website you can find that information down in the description box. Thank you so much for being here and I look forward to seeing you again very, very soon. Goodbye. Hello, group two. This will be what you need to know about your manifestation. We're going to get some cards to let me know maybe what you are actually manifesting. Um, you can use that for further validation to know that you chose the right pile. However, what the examples that spirit brings to my mind may not resonate with you and that's okay you'll still have messages throughout the cards so after we find out what your manifestation is we're going to get some insight into what could be blocking your manifestation then we're going to get some guidance from your ancestors and angels about what you can do to release this blockage and bring your manifestation in quicker and then we'll finish off with a little bit of motivation to let you know what you can expect if you follow all of this advice and end your reading with an affirmation card to help you get through this time. So these first cards here are going to let me know what your manifestation is all about. We have the Ten of Swords, followed by Woman dealings or relationship with a woman and wreath sorrow over a loss your manifestation some of you could have lost a woman in your life uh, this could even have to do with your own feminine energy I feel like like the innocence um, your innocence perhaps Ultimately, what it comes down to is what I feel like you're manifest manifesting is the end to pain, the end of feeling sorrow, the end of hurt. It's like you are wanting to release something and move on with a fresh start. You could have been drawn to group one. It's like you want to be able to stop thinking about something over and over. You want to... Get something out of your head. It's going to be different for all of you. So apply that energy to your life as it fits. This could have to do with the mother, any sort of feminine energy in your life. It could have to do with, like I said, your own feminine energy.
some of you could be trying to manifest a relationship with a female with some sort of feminine energy. This could be romantic or friendship. Could be looking for soul tribe. You could be looking for certain qualities within a new boss. Once again, take the energy and apply it to your life as it fits. But these next two chakra cards are going to give me some insight into what is blocking your manifestation. We have change with the sacral chakra. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. And then we have faith with the crown chakra. What's blocking your manifestation is that you have lost faith. You've lost faith that this will ever go away, that this will ever change. It's almost like you keep telling yourself, th keep thinking in your head that things will never change, this pain will never go away, you'll have to live with it for the rest of your life, whatever it is. And so it's almost as though like you've stopped even trying. You've stopped. It's like you, yeah, like you've stopped trying. Like, what's the use? What's the point? Why try to even better myself? Why try to even move on? Um, I'll just get hurt again or... Hmm. Yeah, just a very defeated type of energy, like this Ten of Swords. Pull another card here to see what's maybe blocking your manifestation. It just seems very defeated, like the swords are in your back and you can't get up. You don't see any way forward. don't see any way forward so it's like you've stopped looking you've stopped trying we have three of pentacles coming out you've stopped working with the universe we have five of swords showing itself at the bottom of the deck there could have been some sort of argument there could have been some sort of fallout you could have chosen to cut ties with someone or someone could have chosen to cut ties with you. Someone could have made that transition to the other side and you're still making amends with that. It's going to be different for all of you, so apply it to your life as it fits. But it's like there's this huge mountain ahead of you the way that you see it. And it just seems so daunting that it's almost like, why even take any steps to get up this mountain? When you have spirit here with this three of pentacles, trying to help you, trying to show up for you, it's almost like you've forsaken spirit. Like you've lost faith that they are there trying to help you. Let's get some insight into the advice that your angels, your guides have for you, your ancestors have, that will help you to unblock this manifestation. You have drum, dream and journey. Counselor, Archangel Azrael, you are a natural counselor and many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance. We have this yellow energy with the solar ch solar plexus chakra showing up. And it's almost like you've lost the confidence, you've lost the will, lost the will to dream. It's like you've once again lost that faith, lost hope. So what's the point in dreaming? This is my life. This is where I'm at. Nothing's ever going to change. Apply this energy to your life as it fits. But the way to get around this 
is to allow yourself to dream to have faith in those dreams. Believe literally that anything is possible. I just heard pick up the tempo. Um, you know, often with drums, you know, people say dance to the beat of your own drum. It's like your drum has stopped and you're being called to find that willpower, to find the motivation, to pick yourself up one, and put one foot in front of the other, taking one step at a time. Because I do feel like there's been like this depressed energy that's just really defeated energy when it comes to something in your life. And so it's almost as though you've just stopped trying, like you just sat down. You're being called to get back up, to get back up on that horse. I'm using so many analogies here. I feel like this is what your spiritual team has been trying to pour into you. You might even tell yourself these things. You might have these thoughts yourself, but it's almost like you don't know where to begin. The path ahead just seems so daunting. And I'm getting the leg tingles as I say this. So I know someone has been feeling this. Understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. Nothing's going to change in this situation if you don't get up and begin to move, if you don't start taking some sort of action. Spirit, the universe cannot meet you halfway if you're not willing to get up and take those first initial steps. So they're really asking for you to get up on the other side of you maybe want to go see a therapist or a counselor work with a certified life coach such as myself who can help you to make sense of what's going on in your mind of what you're feeling to help you to find some acceptance some peace within whatever the situation is and to help you create some sort of plan of attack to help you to move forward. But also at the same time, there is a natural counselor within you. And I feel like whatever it is that you have been going through, whatever you've been trying to overcome, you're meant to learn from this situation so that you can move forward into the future, helping other people overcome the same hurdles. This could be dealing with once again, depression or anxiety. This could be dealing with grief, helping people move through those stages of grief. This could be whatever it is. You're meant to be a guide and a light to others. Whatever, that, whatever it is that you are dealing with, you're meant to overcome it and then share your knowledge with others. Your affirmation out says sensuality. Embracing sensuality doesn't necessarily mean you're a middle-aged swinger. It simply means you're savoring one of the coolest aspects of being alive, sensory input. It's time to get decadent and reward yourself with gifts of the senses. You could drop a wad of cash on champagne and chocolate, or you could tune in and enjoy the incredible gifts around you. The taste of an orange, the sounds of the forest, the texture of corduroy, I don't know your life. The point is, it's time to savor whatever your senses can grab hold of, even if that means you're being sensual. Gross. <laughs> I love that. The way that you get around this blockage and bring your manifestation into your life quicker is to go out and enjoy yourself in whatever way that is for you. Not going overboard, not self-medicating, not giving in to maladaptive behaviors or instant gratification, but finding enjoyment in the everyday things. Savoring an orange, if you love oranges, savoring that strawberry, those grapes, going on that walk and just enjoying the feel of the sun on your skin, the sound of the birds, the squirrels, squirrels you know, playing in the trees. This could be putting on that silk and feeling the smoothness and the sensuality of it, whatever it is for you. 
This could be painting your nails and just enjoying how it makes you feel. This could be doing your hair and just feeling good in your body, feeling good in your own skin. The way that you get through this is to start seeing the beauty that's all around you. Because for too long, you've been focused on whatever this sorrow, whatever this grief is. And it's almost as though you've gotten stuck in that place. Now it's time to begin to enjoy your life. As you begin to enjoy the small things, you will begin to see more of the positivity that's around you and that will begin to help restore your faith into what may come next. Oh, you received two cards. These cards will give me some insight into what you can expect if you follow this advice. You have temperance, And you have the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like what you can expect is more peace, is serenity. You can expect to feel more balanced within your emotions, to feel more grounded. You can expect abundance. You can expect that all the hard work that you put in into climbing this mountain, you can expect it to pay off. And this payoff can be in so many ways. The Nine of Pentacles is all about reaping your harvest. You could be making more money. You could be finding that forever partner, finding that best friend, uh, traveling. What do you want to experience within your life? This card is saying you can experience all of it. If you take the first initial steps to pull yourself out of this funk and to begin enjoying your life again, please reach out to me at my website. I would love to help you help you with this. Your final card is your affirmation to help you get through this. It says, today I am accepting. Today I will open my heart and listen with an open mind to new ideas and opportunities. Listen listen to this reading, accept my offer to help as a life coach, reach out to a therapist or a counselor. There may be people around you who are offering their help and their assistance, offering you ideas of things that you can do. Don't shut it down. Don't allow that pessimism to come in and shut it down. Open your heart and open your mind Open your heart to the possibility of that future and open your heart to change. You can do it. You can do it, group two. It's waiting for you there on the other side. Oh, look at this. I have to show you. Bottom of the deck. Today, I feel optimistic. Today, I will see the beauty and goodness in the hearts of every person I interact with. Not all people are bad. Not all situations are bad. Some things just aren't meant for you, and that's okay. You don't have to let it discourage you. Don't allow it to make you give up. We all go through hardships. We all go through hard times. It's how we... Lord, I was just showing Harry Potter. It's how we choose to respond to those situations. Oh, I can't remember. You might be a Harry Potter person. Go watch some Harry Potter. I feel like there's some messages in there for you. But group two, this has been your message of what you need to know about your manifestation. If it resonated with you, if it brought you some hope, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment down below. If you would like to work with me through a personal tarot reading or some private coaching sessions, please reach out to me at my website. Thank you so much for being here and I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Goodbye. Hello, group three. This will be your message of what you need to know about your manifestation. Like I said in the intro, 
I'm going to get some insight into what your manifestation could be. The examples that I come up with may not resonate with your life. That's okay. You'll still have messages later on in the reading. Then after that, we'll get some insight into what could be blocking your manifestations. We'll get some advice from your ancestors and your angels of what you can do to release this blockage and bring your manifestation in sooner. And then we'll finish off with some motivation as to what you can expect if you follow this advice. And then end with the final affirmation that you can repeat to yourself to help you get through this time. I would also like to say, I saw 44.33 on the clock right as I was beginning your reading. Many of you could be looking for stability within your life. Um, this could be, I don't know, so many things, financial stability, stability within your health, feeling better within yourself. Just feeling more secure, maybe feeling more confident within yourself, could be feeling secure within your relationship, within your own emotions, financially. It's going to be different for all of you. But really what it comes down to, a big part of your stability comes from your health, mind, body, spirit. You're being called to really focus on your health. Are you exercising? Um, how is your body feeling? Are you eating right? Are you getting enough sleep, drinking enough water? What are you doing to help with your mental state? Are you making sure to take time out to breathe, to just be in your own energy, to slow down and reconnect with yourself? What are you doing spiritually for yourself? You're being called to find, find balance within all of those areas. However, that looks for you. Finding balance in those areas is going to be different for so many people. But some of you may not know exactly how that balance looks for you. So you're being called to take some time out and to really imagine it. How does balance mind, body, and soul look for your life what does it feel like um yeah just really get clear on that i feel like you need clarity i feel like for many of you you could be searching for something and not really know exactly what you're so searching for or you could have an idea of what you want but just have no real clue of how you're going to get there and the way that you're going to get there is through self-care taking care of yourself, mind, body, spirit, okay? But let's get into your cards. These first three cards are gonna give me some insight into what you may be manifesting. We have younger man, dealings or relationship with the younger man. Then you have chair filled, someone new is entering your life. And you have the High Priestess. Okay. Group three. I feel like for many of you, you could be manifesting relationship. This could be romantic or friendship. Even a new job. I mean, relationships can apply to so many different things. But it's like, intuitively, you are very sharp. It's like you know, or you have this like nagging feeling in the back of your mind of something that's meant to happen, something that you're meant to experience within this lifetime. And you may have this dream, but you have no idea how you're supposed to get there. So it's almost like you may just be racking your brain. You may be up in your head trying to figure it out, losing sight of the here and now. You know, you could be really focused on the past, 
uh, not wanting to make the same same mistakes again or overly focused on the future, like the how, what, when, and where, that you're losing sight of what's important in the here and now. And that's why I was getting that message about your health, to really take care of yourself in this moment. Stay ready so you don't have to get ready. You know intuitively that something is coming in for you, that something is waiting for you. Like this is soulmate energy. This is something that is meant for you. This is something that is destined for you. And what it is, it will be different for all of you. Please leave me a comment down below um, if you feel so called to do so. But you know it's waiting for you. And it's almost like you've been paralyzed with overthinking or it's almost like you don't know where to start so you have been like running around like a chicken with your head cut off doing all the things but it's like what I'm getting is that your focus has been in the wrong area your focus in this moment needs to be on yourself mind body spirit creating that balance within your life feeling and being the best that you possibly can be so when this thing or person shows up you are ready hmm this is a cool reading all right these chakra cards are going to give me some insight into where your blockage may be we have success i know that there is no greater goal than to love with the solar plexus chakra and then you have creation in the gray energy once again you know there's something waiting for you. You know there's success in some area. This could be love of a person romantically or a friendship. This could be love within a job. This could be financially. You know that there's success waiting for you on the other side. It's like you feel it in your soul. You feel it in your bones. But you don't know how you're supposed to get there. <laughs> okay, I'm not laughing at you. I'm only laughing because... I love when I pick up on the information before I see the cards. It blows my mind. I feel like the message for you here, group three, is that you're not supposed to know. You're supposed to take care of yourself and do what feels right, to go where you are led. There is a whole bunch of smoke here. You can't see what lies ahead and you're not meant to. All you can do in this moment is to take care of yourself, mind, body, soul. Make sure that you are in peak condition, prime condition, so to speak, so that you can tap into that intuition. Because, look, we have two cards here. We have this crystal ball here, and she's holding some sort of crystal ball here with the light. It's trying to guide you somewhere, but you won't be able to fully know what to do next or where to go next if you are not taking care of yourself. So how have you been letting yourself go? Are you not meditating enough? Are you not exercising enough? Are you not reading enough? Are you working too hard and not playing enough? Are you playing too much and not working enough? Only, you'll, only you will know where you have been out of balance. You're being called to create some balance within your life. But let's see what your ancestors and angels have to say. This will be your advice on what you can do to remove this blockage and bring your manifestation in quicker. We have animal guardian. Trust your instincts. Back to that intuition. I love it. Traveler, move in a new direction. Comfort, Archangel Azrael, I am with you in your time of need, helping your heart to heal. And, oh, let's do that one next. Okay, so these three cards here, your advice. <laughs> I'm getting um, 
what do they say about insanity? Insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. You're being called to do something differently. What have you been doing over and over in trying to expect a different result? Have you, are you someone who's always in that masculine energy of pushing forward, of doing, not allowing yourself to take time out to receive, maybe receive that guidance from the universe, receive information from spirit, um, allow things to flow to you? Are you... That's the only example they gave me, so I'm going to move on. Your intuition has been nudging you in some direction. And for whatever reason, you haven't fully embarked upon that journey. This could be some sort of direction to do with your health, right? This could be you telling yourself, oh, I need to exercise more, but not actually getting up and doing that exercise or not sticking with it long enough so it really makes a difference. This could be you telling yourself, oh, I need to be off my phone more or off devices more, but not really doing it. This could be you telling yourself that you need to change your eating habits and not doing that. This could be you telling yourself that you need to get outside more. Um, you need to meditate more. Whatever it is, there is something concerned with your health that the universe has been nudging you towards, but for whatever reason, you have not made the time. You could be telling yourself, I don't have enough time. If that is the case, then you're being called to release some burdens, release some obligations, obligations that really aren't obligations um, to give yourself the time to do this thing you could be someone who tells yourself that you never have time for yourself well what are you putting all of your time and energy into what could you let slip away that won't that won't impact your life in a negative way in order to give yourself that time that you need for yourself. Some of you could be called to move. You may have a place in mind that you keep being nudged to. What's holding you back? Take that step. Create a plan to help you make that move happen. Some of you could be thinking about wanting to go back to school, wanting to take a class or something, what has been holding you back? I feel like part of what has been holding you back is your own fear of success. Could be a fear of failure as well. Don't allow it to hold you back. You are meant to experience this within this lifetime. Trust your instincts. Trust what that intuition is telling you. And know that your angels are around you, your ancestors are around you, helping you to heal. Helping you to heal maybe the sphere of success, helping you to heal limiting beliefs, helping you to heal maladaptive behaviors, could be addictions even, could be thought patterns, negative thought patterns that you may have. You're not doing it all alone. You're being called to ask your ancestors, ask your guides, your angels for help. Maybe even to reach out to other people who may help you. Maybe there are people around you, friends, family that you may have that can help hold you accountable. Next we have reliability. I am reliable. When I say I'll do something, I take whatever that something is seriously. This applies to all commitments, even the ones that may have seemed small and insignificant to a less reliable me. From now on, flaking is just for danger of commercials and cereal factories. 100%. How can you become more reliable? Maybe there are people within your life, once again, that I, like I just said, who can help you to be more accountable. If you're wanting to get healthier, if you're wanting to feel better in your body, feel more confident, 
Maybe there's someone in your life that you can reach out to and say, hey, will you exercise with me? Will you hold me accountable? Make me get up at this time every day to go exercise with you. Um, help me to make better choices in my eating habits. Whatever it is, it's going to be different for all of you, but it's the way that you get to this manifestation that you are, that you know is meant for you, that you know is waiting for you on the other side, is to become more reliable. This could be making sure that you go to bed at a certain time so that you have energy to get up and do what you need to do. Um, going to bed early enough so that you can wake up early enough and have that time to yourself. Whatever it is, make it happen. Make it happen. These next two cards are going to give me some insight into what you can expect if you follow this advice. I would also like to throw out there that if you would like some help with holding yourself accountable, being more reliable, please feel free to reach out to me at my website. I would love to work with you and help you create some sort of action plan and help you to stick to it so that you can reach your success. But your first card is the moon. And then you have the Ace of Swords. This is that clarity that I was speaking about before. You can expect clarity. You can expect all the answers to be revealed to you. Once again, if you are healthy, mind, body, soul, that will allow you to tap more into your natural gifts of intuition to know what to do next. This is releasing fear. This is I'm I keep being drawn to this cave. Like this is someone who is not afraid to go into the unknown because intuitively you already know oh i love that i just got the chills this is someone who can cut out low vibe stuff from their lives this is someone who can say no to that negative mental chatter who can say no to those maladaptive behaviors uh, give up those vices that they may have that might be holding them back from reaching the success that they are looking for. This is someone who's able to sp speak with authority, to know exactly what they want, what they need. This is a clear head, a clear mind. I love this. This is authority. That is what you can expect. You can expect to have authority over your own life. Being fully connected and tapped in to spirit because your vessel is primed and ready for all of that information, for all of that communication to come in. You could be um, a healer, uh, want some sort of spiritual practice maybe you have some sort of career or want some sort of career where you're using your voice using your mind in some way to help other people it's their success is assured but take care of yourself first your last card your affirmation says today i am persistent today nothing will stop me from accomplishing my goals Nothing will stand in the way of my happiness. Yes. Don't allow anything to stand in the way of your happiness. Stay persistent. Stay persistent in working towards your success. Be reliable. If you say you're going to get up early and go to the gym, get up early, go to the gym. If you say you're going to cut out bread for a month, cut out that bread for a month. Don't cheat. Right? If you say you're going to... Put your foot down more and stop people pleasing, then put your foot down and stop people pleasing. Stay true to you. Stay true to you. 
Group three, this has been your message about your manifestation. If this resonated with you, if it brought you some comfort, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment down below. If you would like to schedule a private reading or a coaching session to help you to make the transition through this phase of your life and bring in that manifestation that you're looking for, please feel free to reach out to me at my website. You can find that information down below. Thank you so much for being here and I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Goodbye.